What's up collectors, Optical20 here for another Hot Toys video review. This time it's from The Dark Knight Rises, a Hot Toys John Blake and Bat Signal. And you can purchase this figure at BigBadToyStore.com. Just click the link on the description. Uh, we'll start off with a box. It's a beautiful box. <laughs> I'm always partial with The Dark Knight though. So uh, anything that they release, hey, if they release this, um, um, what's his name? Uh, Raza Ghoul, I'll get him. Uh, Fox, I'll get him too. Even though they're secondary characters, if you're, you know, if you like the movie like I do, uh, you know what? I, I'm a completionist, so I, I try to buy every single uh, one of them. I don't buy double though, so you know, I already have the uh, the Gordon Commissioner Gordon, so that's why I just opted out for the uh, John Blake version. And as far as the box, uh, as you can see, it has a pretty similar um, effect or design to the Armory version, where it, it does have the uh, kind of like a black and white. Of the figure and also at the bottom it's kind of like a rusty brown um you know division to, uh, from their uh the title and the logo and the insert is a uh, highly quality too it's uh, i love that uh, bad signal from you know from the dust or whatever you want to call it and this is the figure itself uh the box is pretty huge um you know I, it's not as big as the armory at least the two pack but i'm assuming because there's no gordon in it but if there is i'm pretty sure it'll be somewhat in that range um but uh yeah the signal is a lot bigger than i thought it would be and uh let's th let's jump on with the accessories uh that's the instruction manual i would suggest you read it there's a lot of good um you know information about that especially with the bat signal and also inserting his belt and which one goes where uh, he does come with this uh, flashlight hand. He comes with a lot of hands actually, and they're they're nice, nicely painted. Uh, it's funny because I'm, I'm while I'm reviewing this, I also got um, Two Face in the mail. I you know the, he's one guy that I've been you know, trying to look for for so long, and you can see just from the hands itself the maturation of Hot Toys. This one has uh, a lot better paint apps than Two Face. Obviously that came out years ago, but you know you get my point. Uh, <laughs> On this one, yeah, he does come with a radio. It says, I guess, ICOM or whatever it might be. Not as detailed as the one in Gordon, because I do have the SWAT version. Uh, the SWAT version even has a Motorola in it um, on this handle. But I guess maybe they didn't get the license, so it just came in blank. But, but you know, it's, it's still pretty highly detailed. It just doesn't have the brand. So that's cool. And the good thing about him is he does come with a lot of accessories, and you will see it later. He does come with this... Uh, this utility belt which is right here which is made out of i'm assuming a pleather it looks like a leather but uh it's probably not and i've seen reports where there a lot of people are complaining that they're having trouble inserting this belt um they're asking whether it's above the belt or below one well i'm gonna tell you right now it's above this normal belt uh that's what it shows in the movie at least uh, it comes with a lot of pouches uh this one the big pouch right here uh that's where you insert the handcuffs a gun and that's tiny little thing right there is the, you know the flashlight and the other one that's where you're gonna put the radio so all his accessories unlike other figures he does come with you know a handful of accessories but they're all useful because um, you know they would actually insert to the figure so they're not gonna be left inside the box just for you know as just to keep, save space or so they're actually in the figure so that's a positive thing uh, he also comes with a watch. It's highly detailed. Really nice watch right here. Um, so you can see on my... Uh, I'm going to zoom it in. You can see the, the numbers and everything. So that's cool. And also the leather strap. They're not leather though. But, you know, nice nice quality nonetheless. And also moving forward. Um, like I said, everything goes into the figure. So nothing's going to be left inside the box. Which is a positive thing. It comes with this, uh, I believe it's a P226, and it comes with two clips right here that you can also put in the um, on his utility belt. Highly detailed, you know, it's just, you know, just normal clips right there. Pretty cool. You know, at least he has some extra ammo just in case he gets him into a gunfight with, uh, I don't know, Bane. I'm just making up stories here. He doesn't really come with a lot of accessories. <laughs> that's that's pretty much it. And this P226, it looks like a P226 at least to me. Um, yep, pretty nice looking gun. This one slides up and down. It talks back just like the slide, uh, regular hot show, uh, hot toys gun. It's 
pretty cool. Nice looking, nicely textured the handle. As you can see there. Beautiful looking gun. And up next is, I believe this is gonna be his flashlight. The flashlight has a pretty cool effect. You know, I I wish it would have actually does light up, but that's that's way too much to ask for a one six scale. I I I believe. Uh, but it, it it has this effect. I don't know what they put in, in inside, but it does when the light hits it It looks like it's actually lighting up or maybe it's just my my imagination since I'm filming this uh, But it does see see that see that when it, it flashes see that it's pretty cool, huh? But yeah, uh, it doesn't light up, but it's still you know pretty cool nice looking flashlight right there That's that and moving forward, like I said, he, he, it's a decent amount of accessories, you know, considering nowadays you barely get any. It comes with handcuffs. It looks like a recycled version of the DX11, which I also do have. Uh, but, you know, nice one right here. It opens up. It actually works for 1.6, not for, you know, any other purposes that you might intend to. And also he comes with a stand. Uh, it says the Dark Knight Rises John Blade. Uh, pretty much similar, like I said, to uh, the, the Dark Knight version, because the um, uh, the armory is only the Dark Knight version. But you know, same pattern, and also the remote says Dark Knight Rises. And uh, ironically, this remote works for and vice versa uh, to the uh, armory. So you can only keep if you want to. You can only you don't have to take out both because they do work on each other. And the biggest piece of accessory, if you want to call it one, because I you know it's it's. It's one of the selling points, so you can make an argument that this is not an accessory, but you can call it a figure itself. Is the um, bat signal highly detailed? Uh, the paint apps is just amazing. It shows you the rustic look. Um, it does have the bat signal. This is the main uh, main guy right here, because I know a lot of people. You know, where to them Blake is just a regular guy. You know, he's he's a cop. Um, that doesn't deserve a figure. I, I disagree, but you know, but I, again, I am a partial Dark Knight fan, so you know, I might not share the same sentiments as the other folks, but yeah, other people are just buying the bat signal, and I don't blame them. But also, I mean, if you could, if you just wanted the bat signal, I, I'm, I'm saying it's worth it. So you can see right here. It lights up really nice. It does function really well. Um, the paint apps is amazing. Uh, I wish it has more weight to it. it. The paint app is so good, let's put it this way, that it feels that when I touched it, uh, I feel like rust is coming into my hand because it has this sort of a texture that helps. I, I don't know what it is, but it, it looks so good. Um, it's also um, in a good scale, as you can see here. You know, I'm putting him right next to Blake. Although he is standing on top of uh, rotating... Um, a thing right here but you know you get you get the idea uh, it does have a mirror inside and it lights up really really bright it, it uses uh, three AAA batteries and you, you insert that at the bottom and it swivels you know it turns 360 degrees and the light goes up and down uh, and that's if you, you can see on the side that is where the um, the sensor is you know, I just want to, I, I don't want to, you know, spend too much time on here. But like I said, this is, I guess, better John, than John Blake, if you, if you want to put it that way. Because if, if John Blake didn't come with a bad signal, I don't think he's going to sell as much. Although he, I don't think he did sell that much anyway. Uh, because the better value is the one with Gordon on it. And uh, it is. Because in my opinion, you know, you're getting Gordon for $140. And a lot of people missed out on the SWAT version. That's their only chance to get Gordon, or you can get him in the secondary market, you know, on eBay and such. But they always hike up the price for it to be around 200 or so. So for 140, for an extra 140, you get Gordon. So I, I in my opinion, that's the best. That's the best value. Uh, but look at this guy. Look at all the the rust um, on the sides. You know, there's some some paint marks right there. You can almost feel the uh, the the grit and you know the dirtiness of this. Uh, this piece right here, although it's not really dirty, but it's it's just highly, highly painted. It's just well done that you you think it's it's a metallic figure, but it's not. Uh, you can see all the you know the 
the rivets right there that is uh, that one thing right there on the side as you can see it focused on that's the sensor so that's where you're kind of going to point the um the remote although you don't really have to point it that way it's it's pretty versatile it, it i believe it, it, it captures from what like 10 feet or so maybe less but yeah it swivels up and down and it moves back and forth too so this is the battery compartment right here as you can see uh, yeah so we just take that off and that's the switch as well that turns it on and off it uses uh three AAA batteries so yeah pretty much standard uh you know from if you have the stand from dx12 or dx11 that's normally what they go for uh this is a no surprise to me but the lights are really bright and it's it's a lot brighter than let's say the dx12 or so uh, this is the switch where they normally switch these things up and down. <laughs> I don't know if you push it up and down, but yeah, when Gordon tries to um, try to communicate with Batman, so that's what he uses. And you know, I'm just gonna give you a sample on how it looks like in the dark. As you can see, it actually does work. It, it does work. See, um, you see, we got a little bit of static there. I don't know why. That's kind of weird. But um, yep, that's that's how it looks like. It's pretty cool. And the it's a bit closer to the wall so it, the, the batman is a bit more formed but if you make it a little farther it, it gets bigger as well you know just just logic from from that uh standpoint uh and let's jump on to the uh, blake figure he's um uh, the thing with blake is he, he's a cop you know he's like a so there's nothing special about him outside of him try you trying to complete the, the dark knight rises collection so here's my uh I guess my thing on buying hot toys if it's harder to reproduce let's say a man of steel or so then it, I, I you know they need to be more expensive than this guys because these guys you can easily bash you don't you know I mean there's a lot of details like this thing right here the Gotham City Police Department you know 18 founded 20 but it's it's nice I, I love it GCPD um, everything is highly detailed uh, I guess the price is just about right because of you know everything if you consider um, let's say uh, somebody like Wolverine he came out for 250 this is 279 with a bad signal so it's not really that bad but like I said like I mentioned with Wolverine uh, days of future past I like to pick on that figure but it's actually a highly highly uh, detailed figure and it's really high quality but like that yeah you can't easily bash it you know you can't just you know buy claws from here or buy his outfit or costume because it's different with this guy you can buy a police outfit even though it's not you know 100 percent but yeah as you can see that's how you insert the uh the radio by the way there's like a hole in his pocket on his back on his jacket and it goes all the way to the front and to his side uh yeah well, as i was saying uh, there he's easy to bash you can buy a head sculpt elsewhere if you have like a police body then you know you can do it no biggie that is where the um you know, the uh, radio is positioned at and like i said it's a beautiful figure don't get me wrong and i love the fact that i did have him and i'm happy that i did have him i'm not gonna sell him anytime soon uh, the moment I sell one of my Dark Knight figures, it's it's gonna be on. Like everything must go. Uh, but yeah, as much as I could, I would keep them. He even has socks too. So you know, it's a nice addition to your Dark Knight collection if you have one. Let's put it this way. Um, highly detailed, nice fit uh, and everything. You know, I, I did put the handcuffs on the back instead of inside the. Uh, the pouch I, I think it's way too nice to be kept in there so you know might as well use it as a display as it should be uh, the jacket is really nice too you know it, it gives you that highly it's movie accurate you know that's all you can ask for uh, there's not much really to ask when it comes to uh, Robin or John Blake in this scenario you know he doesn't come with a ton of accessories he didn't change his costume that much uh, or do you want him when he was saying goodbye or you know went back to the you know the Wayne Enterprise this is the most I guess iconic if you want if you want to put it this way there's a GC there uh, outfit of his you know and unfortunately he's not too comic booky on on the Nolan but that's that's why I love the Nolan series because it, you know it kind of it gives you a different genre so to speak made it more realistic and I'm gonna throw in some poses before we wrap this up uh, because 
he's not a superhero yet, you know, because it's he's gonna turn out Robin, I guess. Um, you can, there's only a handful of poses that I'm gonna do, only a couple to be quite honest. Um, this is the standing up and down, you know, just normal pose. If you have a detail, that's mostly what you're gonna do. Uh, and he looks good on these poses because, you know, the outfit, the police outfit, there's, there's only so much thing that you can do uh, with this figure. What my shelf would look like is that he's standing right next to my SWAT Gordon. Uh, so it looks like a GCPD, you know, all out. But at that time, as we know, Gordon is not a lieutenant anymore, but he's already a commissioner. But I, I guess the uniformity looks good. Uh, like I said, I I do like Gordon, but I don't like him that much to uh, buy two Gordon. And uh, this would be my go-to pose. You know, so you can see the handcuffs are in the back, so it kind of shows up. I like that. You know, it's silver. It gives you a great con contrast from his blue uniform. Um, you know, he's kind of like holding his flashlight while pointing his gun. Uh, he feels like he's about to go to the sewer when he was looking for Gordon. Um, really nice classic uh, policeman look right here. And uh, you know what? Like, like I said earlier, if you're a big Dark Knight fan, this is a must-have. If not, if you're just a casual collector, then, you know, he's John Blake. There's nothing really exciting about John Blake, not in the movies, you know, until we actually realize that he's Robin, that's where it's like, oh, okay, that makes sense. But uh, up until the movie, to me, he was just a regular cop. I, you know, I didn't watch any spoiler or any read anything on the internet, so I wasn't, I didn't know that he was Robin. So I was, you know, it was a pleasant surprise towards the end, but... And, um, you know, just high, compar you know, high comparison right here, right next to the SWAT Gordon is, is in great scale. Um, they look good together, in my opinion. You know, although Gordon is wearing a SWAT, you know, tactical uniform, it's still GCPD, you know, just like uh, Blake right there. So it matches. Looks pretty good, in my opinion. Uh, they're, and as you can see right there, the bat signal standing right in between them. Maybe I'd pick up Gordon down the line. I don't know. You know, I don't know. I just had a really, really good deal from Big Bad from, uh, with, um, you know, John Blake right here. Otherwise, I would have picked up the Gordon set. And there you go. Uh, another post right here that I'm going to throw. Amazing, amazing set. I mean, at least for, in my opinion. You know, you, you can, you know, have your own opinion on this one. Uh, I do understand the fact that John Blake is not the most exciting character, but the bat signal itself, I, I'm, I'm telling you, it's worth the money. If I'm, if I have to put the price on the bat signal, I would say it's around $120. The reason I said that um, because it, it does function. You know what? Maybe it's a hundred. It's a hundred. So we're putting Blake as 175. So now it's up to you whether to decide whether Blake is worth 175 or not. Uh, but in my opinion, he is. Uh, if you can pick up the the Gordon set, it's a lot better, a much better value for your money. But if not, this is for 275, and it, you know, some. I have a feeling it will go on sale. It's not selling too well. So, yep. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. And uh, till next time, don't forget to subscribe or hit like or share this video. Thank you so much.